Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Eileen, and this is another Daily Dose of Medicine Walk. And for those of you who are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, this is Healing House Radio. So um, I just wanted to touch on something that we brought up yesterday, which was about empathically connecting to yourself and going inward and maybe you know, dealing with that inner child. And we did a video on dealing with empathic children. So you can actually watch that and that can actually help to recognize that, you know, we have our adult self and then we also have the inner child. And the important part of acknowledging that inner child is being able to stop and realize when that inner child needs some attention. And it is an important part of our, the management of our empathy because it is not something that can be done externally. I mean, you have to actually slow down and stop. And some people might wonder, okay, how exactly do you do that? Well, you slow down and you take a breath and you take a pause from what it is that's going on around you, what it is that's going on with you, removing yourself you know, either energetically or physically from that situation and just asking yourself, okay, am I feeling scared? Is there a part of me that's feeling scared or uncomfortable? And if you picture what it is that that little inner child would be worried about right in that moment and what is it that they need? So it is, you know, a really good practice to get into the habit of checking in with your inner child. Because what we can do is we can actually help incorporate healing. If, you know, like the situation yesterday where the two people were arguing and I could feel the inner child of like one of my neighbors or I could feel her discomfort. And my guess would be is that it was related to having to relive a memory. And the inner child holds memories that much stronger for an empath because they feel it. So when we are able to first recognize that we're in discomfort and then kind of look in and see if that discomfort is related or connected to that inner empathic child. So once you can do that, and once you get in the practice of it, and it is also about getting that child to trust you because we often are in situations where we have to, you know, tell the child inside of us that they can't play right now or that, you know, we need to be a grown up. We need to act like a grown up. We can't speak our truth. We can't protect that child because we've got to walk in the world. And often that little empathic child will not trust us. So this is about restoring that connection, that childlike part of you. And one of the best ways to do it is to be a kid, to, you know, maybe have some cereal and watch some of those old cartoons that you enjoyed when you were young, to go and ride on a swing, to, you know, take a trip to the beach just because, you know, you like to build sandcastles. You know, there's a lot that can come from being able to connect to those pleasures and those things that comforted us when we were young, those things we enjoyed. And as we do that more, we can be able to kind of allow that childlike part of us to be able to be a part of the, of the conversation, to be able to be heard. Because if our inner child, especially an empathic inner child, is not feeling safe, they will lash out. So it's important for us to be able to recognize the child within, knowing that it's an empath, knowing that it will absorb emotions, it will absorb energy, and it will absorb judgment. And, you know, that's not a good thing for those who grew up being judged for those who grew up not feeling safe because empathic children, you know, are often told, well, you're just imagining things or you're lying or, you know, you don't feel what you feel or you're too sensitive and all of those negative projections. So our empathic inner child is very sensitive and very vulnerable. 
which is why we need to take very special care of that little one within. So give your inner child a play date. The more that you do that, the more that that little one will trust you, which during those times that we have to be a grown up, during those times when that little one inside of us is going to have to wait, they will trust us that it's like, okay, well, we have to deal with this, but as soon as we're done, we're going to go do something fun. We're going to go, you know, go have a, have a treat, or we're going to go do this, or, you know, that we can actually negotiate, calm down that inner child and be able to have it, you know, realize, okay, we can be grown up sometimes, but we don't have to give up being a child. We do not have to treat that child as if they don't exist because they do. And we can help them learn how to manage their empathy just like we manage ours. So food for thought. And I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, then please leave them in the comments section. And for those of you who are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, there's a link to the YouTube page, so please check it out. If you appreciate this video and the other videos, please like it. And if you think the channel's got something, you know, that can be helpful, please subscribe. So again, thank you for joining me. And as always, I wish you balance and I wish you blessings from my heart to yours. Love you, and see you next time. Bye.